and welcome to Tamada's Table. I live and work in New York, but I was born and raised in Tbilisi, the Republic of Georgia. For women of my generation, cooking was a necessary skill. So I learned how to cook in my mother's kitchen. Later, when I moved to New York City, I continued cooking delicious Georgian food in the apartment-sized New York City kitchens. This is my kitchen. About which my mother says, this is so small, how can you cook here? My New York friends say, well, this is a very good size kitchen for New York City. Two different perspectives. I created Tamada's Table to share the wonderful cuisine of my original homeland with you. So my friends, Georgia today is a small independent country where Europe meets Asia in the Caucasus region. Georgia shares the Black Sea with Turkey, borders with Russia in the north, Azerbaijan and Armenia in the south. It has independent language, history and engaging open southern culture. Georgia has delicious food. 8,000 years of traditional winemaking and ancient traditions of Supra, Georgian feast. Tamada runs the Supra. Supra is not just the dinner party. It's much more. It's a social gathering of people around the, uh, the table laden with delicious food, plenty of wine, and toast making is a must. So Tamada's job is not an easy one because sometimes he has to entertain as many as hundreds of guests. In the past, Tamada was even a formal profession and everybody is still looking for good Tamada. It's a delicious cuisine unlike any other. Walnuts, fresh herbs, garlic, spices from the Silk Road and chili peppers flavor the taste of Georgian dishes. And we use a lot of fresh herbs. Like cilantro is all-time favorite. Second next favorite is tarragon, basil, mint, summer, savory. Because the herbs are the muscle of the Georgian cuisine and we use them one or two or in combination. So this gives power to the Georgian cooking. And as my mom, mother says, you know, who is not fussy about the quantities, that the more herbs, the better. I have very good news for my vegan friends. You can find a refuge in best offerings of Georgian cuisine. I'll show you how to make vegetable curry dishes mixed with walnuts, garlic, spices and fresh herbs, which are a hallmark of Georgian cuisine. And they are so delicious that even dedicated carnivores can convert into devoted vegan followers. Georgians mostly rely on the natural oil of walnuts instead of other unhealthy fats. And in many famous Georgian dishes, like for example chicken satsivi, we use walnut sauce, which in other dishes can be raw. Georgian cuisine also offers a lot to carnivores, who have only one dilemma with Georgian food is what to choose. Twadi grilled meats or beef, spicy beef, harcho or chicken and garlic sauce, kmeruli or chicken and tomato, sauce, chachogdili, or chanachi, lamb stew, or chakapuli, which is a savory spring lamb with tarragon sauce. And of course, hinkali dumplings, which is a meal in itself, made of soup, bread, and meat. And let us not forget hachapuri, Georgian cheese bread, or Georgian pizza, which comes in the variety of sizes and shapes and each province is, is proud of its own Hajapuri. Hajapuri from the Black Sea coast is in the shape of the boat and it has the egg in the center and the egg symbolizes the sun and good weather. There is a legend that the wives of the sailors made this type of Hajapuri for their husbands, wishing them good weather all the time. Georgian cuisine also boasts about delicious condiments and sauces which are typically made from fruit and vegetables like ajika, chili pepper sauce or tkemali plum sauce or satsabeli made with tomatoes and peppers which is a type of Georgian uh, salsa. 
there. So my friends, at Canada's table, I'll show you how to make this and many, many more delicious Georgian dishes. Enjoy with your family and friends with a glass of good Georgian wine, but don't forget to make toasts because Tamada will be upset. Please subscribe to Tamada's table. Come back for weekly recipes. Bon appetit! Kemri Mir.